Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Brandon O'Brien here in Nashville, Tennessee. And if you're watching this, then you probably just started driving for Amazon Flex or you're thinking about driving for Amazon Flex, which by the way, I think is a great idea. Um, I'm gonna share with you two very important time-saving tips that you're gonna wanna start using right away, okay? Uh, and by the way, if you saw my first Amazon video, it was titled the top five things I love about Amazon Flex after a week. And I'm gonna put that link in the description so you could watch it if you haven't. This is the vest I was wearing. They give you this vest, it's Velcro-y and uh, yeah, you know, it's like, let me try Amazon Flex for a little bit and see if I like it kind of vest. Well, I liked it a lot enough to find one of these. Now I like the logo, I like looking professional out in the field. So if you don't have one of these vests, just go to your warehouse and ask. Okay, and just because you get a no, and if the warehouse you know, doesn't have any, go to the next warehouse and ask them. If they don't have them, just keep asking because eventually you're gonna find one. And don't buy one on eBay. I saw one on eBay, $50 for a vest that you can get for free, okay? So yeah. All right, uh, let's get into it. Let's talk about deliveries because we wanna save you some time, okay? And as you know, every minute counts, okay? Like if it takes you an extra two minutes to find a package on your route, like every single package, you could be spending over an hour of your block just digging through your car looking for, you know, Jill Jones or whoever. You're wasting a lot of time, okay? We don't wanna add any more time on the route than we have to, okay? that Basically, that was me a week ago until I figured out a couple things that was really a game changer, okay? And saved me so much time. The first thing, the packages are pre-sorted at most of the warehouses, okay? Now, the reason I say most is because some of the newer warehouses, or at least the one that I go to, doesn't sort them, okay? And it's up to the driver to look at the itinerary and sort the packages that way. But what Amazon doesn't tell you, and you kind of have to learn this as you go, is that there are these yellow stickers on the packages with numbers on them, and most people don't have a clue what those numbers represent. I had no clue, I just, you know, you see stickers with numbers, you don't know, I didn't know. So here, here's a look at those stickers. Okay, so the top number represents your route, okay? Which you don't really need for this. But the bottom numbers are very important. Those are the ones side to side. Now in this case, the sticker says one slash one, which means it's the first package on your itinerary and the first package overall. Now, the second number changes when you deliver more than one package to an address. For example, if two packages went to number two, okay, house number two, then house three's sticker would read three slash four because it's your third address on your itinerary, right? But your fourth package. I hope that makes sense. So when you, get to the warehouse, okay, and you start scanning your packages, look for those numbers, you can organize them in your car to get to them faster, okay? Which brings me to my second tip on how to save time, how I organize my packages in the car. I know there are so many different methods, I see people doing all kinds of things there. If you know one that works well for you, please share it in the comments. But when I scan anything between the numbers one through 10, they go right here next to me, okay, in the passenger seat, one through 10. 11 through 25, I put in the back seat passenger side, 11 through 25. 26 through 39, I put right behind me, okay? Back seat on the floor too. And then anything over 40 goes in the trunk. And then after every 10 deliveries or so, I rotate the packages. And like I mentioned earlier, every minute counts at each delivery. And this method assured me that I can get to the property, jump out, scan the package, take that picture, jump back in my car, turn my radio back up, have a drink of Diet Coke and get on to my next house, okay? Um, I, I've only been delivering now for about a month and these are two of my favorite uh, time-saving tips. I hope you will uh, use them. And if you have any you'd like to share with me, if you have any questions, if you have anything that could help me with my deliveries, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I love interacting with people that have similar interests, so that would be cool too. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there. Ice machine. Bye-bye.